chugging along i'm sam and i'm tim thank you very much for your comments on our last video where we made it to the posh commuter town of Berkhamsted and enjoyed some coffee at black goo cafe with its two beautiful bridges Berkhamsted is our fourth favorite canal town if you're new here we're on a long narrowboat trip from holston junction to london and we are getting close you'll want to stick around in this video as we chug under the m25 which is the notorious motorway which goes around london right, so a big landmark for us <laughs> and we also show you our apsley diaries at this point we've been cruising for a long time but we'll be getting tired of it We'll be answering that in today's video. On this part of the journey, we had lots of locks slowing us down as well, which took our average speed below our target of 1.5 miles an hour. But hopefully we can get that speed back up again. Right, so let's get started with today's cruise. We start near the Bull Pub in Berkhamsted. Lots of wide beams around here. And a hippo, obviously. We think the owner of this bungalow has a great life. A simple boat in their canal side garden and an old red phone box too. You can almost hear the tune of God Save the Queen when chucking past this vessel. This part of the Grand Union Canal between Tring and Rickmansworth, we've labelled Lock Vegas. Plenty of wide locks to do still. This was a close shave. We wouldn't have wanted to hit this wooden boat. Now that is an elegant narrow boat.
Here is the Winkwell electronic swing bridge. The customers at the pub didn't seem to mind the buzzing sound too much. Sam walked straight down to the next lock, which was near a huge boat yard. We heard a story that Russell Brand bought a narrowboat here and gifted it to his wife for her birthday. This is the impressive 147B Railway Bridge. Although fairly close to London, there were still plenty of two-week mooring spots in this area. It was time to get the Maltesers out. Tim's parents gave them to us. The perfect cruising snack. We were now in Hemel Hempstead. We like the look of this pub, the Fishery Inn. The moorings near the railway station were popular. We do love a Cyclops boat. Most canal boats have flat bottoms, but this one is clearly more rotund. We topped up our water at Apsey Lock, which is where we decided to stay for the night.
Now that's a unique boat. We kept seeing this poster for a canal themed comedy show in Rickmansworth. The dates seemed to line up with when we'd be there too, so we put it in the diary. Apsley Marina looks like a nice place to keep a boat or to have a flat. We found a mooring just south of the marina. Here are our Apsley diaries. Our mooring there was really bad for solar, but it was no real problem as we left the following morning. How would you describe this boat? We've run out of words. Comment below. We think that's the River Gate there to our right. Does anyone know for sure? Comment below. We were now in Kings Langley, where we shared this lock and kept on chugging till we saw a flyover. And that is the M25 motorway, a real milestone for us.
So that's the end of today's cruise where we made it within the M25. But the real question is, were we fed up of cruising at this point? What would you say, So I'd say at this point we were a bit, which is understandable because mm. uh, we've done a lot in such a short space of time. We had travelled 500 miles in five months, so it was quite a lot to do in one summer. I think we needed a break, actually. That was what it was. What do you think, Tim? Yeah, I agree. I think, yeah, boaters always say take it slow and take it easy. And, yeah, yeah. it's definitely correct. I think that judging by that, 500 miles in the summer would say a good amount for us anyway would be mm. about 150 to 200 oh. around that sort of yeah amount of mileage would be good mm -hmm. um but yeah we crammed a lot of it in we got so many memories in a short space of time so there is a few positives to that's it. the thing exactly those were our thoughts and how we were feeling by this point in our journey but now tim it's over to you for those all important cruising statistics <laughs> okay right thank you very much <laughs> sam so let's have a look then shall we mm. so we did seven miles and six 16 locks and that was all in nine hours thus giving us an average speed of 0.77 miles an hour that now brings our trip average down to 1.44 miles an hour with our target of being 1.5 will we get there that means we've done 183 out of the 205 miles to london so join us next week as we see the tube going over the canal and we show you our Watford Diaries. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching this video all the way to the end. And remember, no matter what you do in life, you've got to... Keep chugging.